it's Sun here. In this video, I will be doing another tag for Sackcrafters, and I promise this will be a uh, not the last tag necessarily, but it will be the last tag in a period of time. And I won't be doing too many other tags for a while because I'm pretty um, getting tired of altering tags. <laughs> Although I love doing tags, but I want to do something different. So um, for this tag, I'm going for a mossy look. So if you think about a mossy ground or a mossy tree bark, you will uh, notice that they have those green color and sometimes a little bit of orange color of moss, which I think is super cute, uh, not cute, but super cool. And I love the combination. So that's the look I'm going for. This tag doesn't really necessarily have any meaning. This tag is just um, me trying to create a feeling that uh, I have. So that's what this tag is about. And all I'm doing is using jottles in different colors and uh, layer it onto the background to give the background some color. And later I will use some white paint over it so you'll see the color will be blended with the white paint. I, I'm not trying to blend the color right now like I said because the white paint will do the job for it. using a sea sponge to dab a lot of white paint onto this tag and you'll notice that the color in the background will be softened and it will look like it's well blended. And to protect the gelato under, um, underneath the white paint, I am pouring a very, very thick um, layer of clear gesso and just paint it all over the tag. So the gelato underneath it will, will not be reactivated by any means later on. You can use um, Mod Podge or anything like that if you want to, but in, um, I think, personally, I think clear gesso is a lot more workable than um, any kind of seals. So yeah, I suggest you use clear gesso, but it's your personal preferences. I'm using my phone just to take a photo of um, how I placed inch embellishment on my tag, so later I'll remember what to do. The um, color I am using right now is just a very regular and inexpensive copper, uh, metallic copper color acrylic paint. Just put it all over your embellishment. I covered um, every inch of the embellishment with this color. And later I will add more color to it, but it's after they're dried. Everything I'm using um, in this on this tag, every embellishment on this tag is from Sackcrafters, including the tag of course. So you can check this, check out the store and you know just go browse what you like. She has come out with so many amazing new stuff and they're so great for mixed media. So if you want to do mixed media or if you already are doing mixed media, just please go check it out. You will love all this new product. Now I'm using a very thin gesso to paint over my embellishment. The purpose is first to tone down the color a little bit and second to make it has a better ground for other stuff. So because the gesso has the tooth, so it will grab on other stuff a lot easier than this very sleek and glossy paint. So that's why I'm doing this. And now I'm just layering stencils and everything to this tag. And I, again, it won't really show up afterwards, but like I said, I'm always about texture and you always want to layer texture because you don't know what is going to show up and what is not going to show up. So that's why I spent a lot of time just doing textures and later they're just going to be covered up. This stencil is probably one of my favorite stencils of all time and it is Sackcrofters Dot Stencils and please check this out because I really love this stencil. I don't know if you guys have paid attention but I think I've probably used this stencil in um, many different projects now and it's still up and going and I will still be keep using this on many different projects.
And this little mesh fabric is from Sock Crafters and I just cut a little piece off and use it as a stencil. And this stencil is also from Sidecrafters store and again I'm just pile along the texture and layering and do everything I can to make sure that this tag has enough texture. So later on when I um, put embellish on there something's gonna show. For some reason my camera didn't record the process of me spraying everything black. So I'm just gonna tell you what I did. I did what well, all I did is just spray everything with a dark color and then I just put my embellishment on there and that's it. That's all I did. And yes, of course I um, sprayed this black color and this black color will of course darken my embellishment. And right now I'm just using a um, white gummy mist to do some feathers and here again I'm spraying more um, darker color to this tag. Now if you think about a mess a mossy look ground or a tree you will notice that the background color is pretty dark so that's why I'm doing this that's why I'm uh, putting on lots of black color to this tag. And sometimes if you're in a forest you will find there are some uh, little drops of rain or water everywhere here and there so I'm using my hot glue and uh, make some little little dots of hot glue onto this tag and those clear hot glue dots really looks like raindrops. And after this process, I'm just adding more color to this tag, like the orange and green color to make it look more mossy. Um, but my for some reason my camera didn't record all record it all. Um, I don't know what's going on with my camera here, but I'm just going to tell you what I did. All I did is adding some orange, extra orange and green color, and that's it. Or copper color, and that's it. So yeah, that is the whole tag process. And thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.